Hi, in today's video, we're gonna look at the Omaha market and we're gonna look at what's coming around the corner and we're gonna start right now. Hi, my name is David Matney with Nebraska Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Omaha, Nebraska. Now let's jump into today's topic. Okay, I get this question a lot. People will often ask me, hey, prices seem to be skyrocketing. When is the bubble gonna pop? Or I get another version. Should I wait for prices to fall before I buy? Let's address those two questions. Okay, people watch the news, they hear about the pandemic, the protests, the election, unemployment, businesses closing, mortgage forbearance, bad news goes on and on and on. Now, there's never a shortage of bad news. We've all been through a lot over the past year. There's no doubt that 2020 has been a challenging year. And we're all gonna get tired of hearing this one. Hindsight's 2020. Now I hesitate to even do a video on the market. Number one, they're extremely boring. When people hear stats, it's kind of like going back to math class. And number two, nobody can predict the future, okay? And real estate markets are kind of like the weather. Every market is local, okay? The Phoenix market is completely different than the Omaha market. And even within a market, like you take the Omaha market, for example, the Omaha market, North Omaha, is gonna be much different than Southwest Omaha. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're looking at the overall market. Okay, before we look ahead to 2021, let's look back and look at 2020. Okay, the median sale price for existing homes was up 8.2% in the Omaha market. Prices were up because of a low inventory of homes. Some people were hesitant to even put their home on the market, especially in the early stages of the pandemic. Homes were still selling and they were still selling quickly, but you did not see a normal spring market. The normal spring market that we had was pushed back to summer and fall. Now, if you were an entry level buyer at the 175 to 200,000 price point, getting your offer accepted last year was definitely a challenge. All right, new construction saw an increase in the median sale price from 323,000 to 348,000. Now this increase was about 8%. I had many clients last year opt to build rather than go for existing homes, A, because they didn't have to compete with multiple offers if they built a home. All right, the other thing we saw with new construction is materials kept rate going up and up in price, and that also drove the price of new construction higher. All right, let's look ahead and look at 2021. All right, many of the experts in the market predict that interest rates will remain low in order to keep stimulating the economy coming out of the pandemic. Currently, we have rates below 3%, which is truly amazing. These low rates help give buyers tremendous buying power, even if home prices rise. And that's a good thing for buyers. Okay, number two, Nebraska has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the nation. So that is also a good indicator for our market. Jobs and low interest rates put buyers into the market, which is good for sellers. Okay, number three, we have had, and we will continue to have a very low inventory. Right now, our inventory is even lower than it appears. For Douglas and Sarpy counties, we have 789 active listings. Of those, 384 are new construction. So that leaves only 405 existing homes on the market. That means if you're a buyer, be ready. In fact, many of those 405 existing properties are not really active. They're active, but they're also contract pending, which means they're actually under contract. So the start of 2021 appears to be very similar to last year. 
Overall, I think we'll see the Omaha market continue to see an increase in prices. How much? If I gave you a number, that would just be a wild guess. Nobody really knows. People have to live somewhere. Home prices will continue to increase and interest rates will remain low. Jobs will be available and hopefully as we come out of the pandemic in early summer and back to some sort of new normal, I think many, some sellers will come off the sidelines after the pandemic, which will hopefully increase the supply of homes on the market, which will be a good thing. Omaha has a very stable and diverse economy. Our economy has not been shut down like the other states. I think overall, the Midwest will come out very well versus the other states with who will lose population because people will migrate away from some of the states and population centers that have had more of those severe lockdowns. Not only will people migrate to the Midwest, but also with the growth of working remotely, you'll see some buyers who will want to move out of the city into small acreages or just outside the city limits. Okay, here's another thing that people are, uh, they had questions about, and that is foreclosures. People think, well, with people losing jobs or with businesses closing, hey, there's gonna be a lot more foreclosures, okay? And that may not simply be the case because here's the thing. Because of the price increases, if you bought your home a couple years back, you're gonna see a substantial gain in equity. So a lot of those sellers are gonna be able to sell their house and then take that equity. So there won't be banks foreclosing. You'll have hopefully sellers selling instead of being foreclosed on. Okay, what are your thoughts on the upcoming market? Is this too optimistic? You know, am I in real tour? So am I just being too optimistic? What do you think the market will do in 2021? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and you make it a great day. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe to my channel.